Alright everybody, so now we're going to be taking a look at permissions in the registry. Um, if you happen to be trying to delete, um, let's say, current control set enum um, root, within this you'll see these files here and you won't be able to delete them. It'll be like, come on, why can't I delete them? The trick is the permissions. You don't have any permissions relating to these files here, and you won't be able to modify or delete them using a reg script. Now, one way to edit the permissions is this way, which is fine but you're going to find yourself at a disadvantage if you're trying to help somebody and you're telling them to use a reg script to modify these. So the one answer to that is using a program called SWREG, Steelworks Reg, uh, which is created by uh, a great person. And um, that that program uses fancy scripting techniques to do just about anything to the registry that you want. And uh, so in that sense, that's a good program to use, but it takes a while to learn, and I'm not going to try to go over that right now um, because it's kind of difficult. But in the meantime, for playing around, if you if you want to experiment with the registry script, to you need to take the permissions and allow full control, and then apply that, and then... On this specific key, you will check and you will have full control. You can do whatever you want to it. Uh, we're going to take a look at using a registry script to create keys. Because in some instances, you might want to create a key, or you might need to create a value if some for some reason it gets deleted uh, and to do this let's say I wanted to put a trend micro folder back um, we're going to do reg edit 4 space space now I can't remember where that reg edit folder we were trying to use was but we'll just create a trend micro folder wherever you want so we'll put it in software that's where it was anyway so we'll copy key name, make it easier on ourselves. And one thing I didn't point out, this is very important. You need to use the full H key local machine. A uh, registry editor can't interpret anything else. It can't interpret HKLM. No matter how people list it on the internet if you just copy a key because you think oh I want to edit it because this person lists this and tells me I can edit this way whatever they often abbreviate and you need to put in the whole the whole nine yards of text so we're gonna make a key called trendy because we have nothing better to do and we'll save this fix.reg we'll double click on this and yes okay We'll open up our registry editor and we have a key called trendy. Now if we go under here and copy key name, we're going to create a value under trendy. So we have trendy. I didn't need to copy that key name. And under trendy we're going to create a value called value. Yeah. And we're going to create that value equal to let's say just for kicks um, that's fine I copied it for something alright so we're going to save this And if we open up our registry editor, eh, I failed. That didn't work. Let me check what I did there.
Maybe it doesn't like this value. Uh, we're going to try that again. Value equals 1. We're just going to try that. I've had luck, but maybe I'm not. Oh, well, that could be a problem because, again, no permissions are assigned. So we're going to do that. And then we are again going to click on this. We're going to run it and OK. And now we have a value and a 1. So as you see, permissions are important. And if it's not working, look to permissions for the answer. Thanks for watching, everybody. I think I'm going to have that conclude my series on the registry. And uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and uh, ask a question.